Uh, my name is Jalen Rakan, as you can see. I wrote my essay because I was offered an amazing opportunity that allowed me to decide how I want to contribute to society and especially my community. Thank you for letting me read my essay to y'all today. If someone offers you an amazing opportunity, but you're not sure you can, say, you can do it, say yes, <laughs> then learn how to do it. This quote is by Richard Bronson. During my junior year at Paul Duke Stem High School, I was given the opportunity to travel to Cape Town, South Africa and work with Stuff Academy, a technology-focused youth development organization with the goal of developing the next generation of innovators and leaders. On this morning, as we drove through traffic, Mr. Bradley, the program social media manager, turned to me and said, Jalen, today we are going to a youth detention center for young, young adults who have been convicted of their crimes. And I want you to speak to them about your technology experiences at your high school. Our destination sounded really scary. But what actually filled me with the most anxiety was having to speak when we got there. Early in my childhood, I was identified as having a speech delay. From kindergarten through high school, and IEP has helped me focus on improving my communication. While I have worked hard on improving my speaking skills by working with this organization and joining Toastmasters, to improve my progression outside of school, speaking at the detention center was my first time speaking in front of a crowd and I was really nervous and scared. <laughs> the detention center was a large building that looked like a large metal cage. Patrolled by uniformed guards, we were patted down by the guards and our bags were searched before being led into the large auditorium filled with young men, all wearing green jumpsuits. <laughs> Someone did <that> take <laughs> Some of the detainees were huge and covered in tattoos, and others looked young and innocent. All of them stared at me. I stood silently while Mr. Bradley gave a lecture on how to study and technology can transform their lives. And then he stopped. He turned to me and said, Jalen, you studied technology at your high school and using your everyday life in America, correct? When they learned I was from the United States, all eyes were mainly focused on me. The students, the guards, Mr. Bradley, everyone in the building seemed to be looking at me. All I could get out was, yes. <laughs> One word, that's all I had. Then something happened I will never forget. The detainees begin trying to get to know me. They ask questions, they crack jokes on each other. They laughed in a warm, comforting, familiar way. They embraced me. So, I talked. We talked about life in America. We discussed technology, computer science, the future, mine and theirs. In the scary South Africa detention center, surrounded by gates and guards, I worked to help contribute to change for them. And without knowing it, they have done the same for me. <laughs> we were at the center for two days. That day I learned two things. First, that scary things, when I faced them are not as scary as they seem. And second, that all the subjects I have spent learning years studying at Paul Duke Stanton High School weren't only interesting, they were important. They can change lives. And if they can change lives, they can change whole communities, even whole nations. I came home from South Africa knowing what I wanted to do in my life. Thank you.